Hello. In this video, we're going to be doing another thing with the chain rule. Another example. This time we're dealing with the function, let's say, uh, I'm going to actually just call it f of x this time, because I don't think we have to go through all the steps. And I'm going to say that that's equal to, let's see, what would be a good function? Let's say the natural log of 3 halves times x. Okay, and you know, the natural log part is pretty familiar because we know, of course, that uh, the derivative with respect to x of lin or natural log of x is equal to 1 over x. That was one of the useful derivatives from uh, an earlier video. But we have natural log of 3 halves x here, right? This coefficient here. So, you know, maybe it'll make a difference, right? We need to find out because we need to know that what, uh, and let's choose, maybe I'll go with yellow this time. We need to know what f prime of x is equal to. So what's the first step we do? What, what do the chain rule say? I'm not gonna pull it up this time, we're just gonna think. We need to take the derivative of the outer function. What's our outer function here? Our outer function is natural log. Our inner function, I'm gonna say, that our outer function is natural log of x, and your inner function is 3 halves times x. So all we need to do is take the derivative of this outer function with respect to the inner function. So essentially, we're just saying, you know, this is natural log of some value here, right? We're just ignoring this for now. Let's just say that's x. Take the derivative, it's, you get 1 over x. So we have 1 over x except wait we can't just fully ignore that right because this is still and it's good to keep the one half over there uh, one over not x but we have to do the inner function three halves times x right so all we're doing is taking the derivative of this outer function which is which we got to be one over x when we're just saying that it's natural log of x but then we have to plug in 3 halves x because we are taking the derivative with respect to the inner function, not just x. So this will give us 1 over 3 halves times x. And hopefully it's kind of clear how I got there. Right? We're just taking the derivative normally, except we plug the inner function in for x. Then we multiply by the derivative of the inner function with respect to x. What's the inner function? Right? We, our inner function. What uh, is 3 halves x? So the derivative with respect to x, you know, I, I want to switch up the colors a little bit. Let's do purple. Uh, yeah. The derivative with respect to x of 3 halves x, right? This is just a linear function. It's going to have a constant derivative. Uh, we can just use the power rule to solve this, right? That's x to the first. We bring it out, subtract 1, x to the 0. That's just going to give us 3 halves. Right, the derivative of that is just going to be the slope of that line, which is 3 over 2. So we're multiplying this by 3 over 2. Now, now here's where it gets interesting. These 3 over 2s will cancel out. And so after all, even though we went through all this work, we found that f prime of x is equal to 1 over x regardless. So to summarize, we have the derivative with respect to x of natural log of 3 halves x is equal to 1 over of x. And you can plug in different coefficients for x, and when you go through the same process, I think you'll find that it always turns out to 1 over x. And this is, you know, this is just a thing about the derivative of the natural log, and perhaps you find that interesting. In the next video, we're going to move on to a somewhat uh, familiar problem, if you know your trigonometry. Uh, but until then, thanks for watching.